Now we will shoot with new big sire lens using Othma action. May these views help us. May the force be with us. We took Osmo action and installed our lens on it. Now you can shoot without any distortion with the ability to adjust the sharpness manually. Let me tell you, in this camera, in some shooting modes, such as time-lapse mode, you cannot use fish-eye distortion. Digital fish-eye correction grabs the picture and, accordingly, that ruins the quality. Now the shooting angle has become narrower, it's about 90 degrees and that allows you to make a more cinematic picture. If we go, for example, somewhere in the countryside, then narrower optics will be better. In our case we have 90 degrees field of view. When we use Rocksteady Digital Stabilizer on the standard Osmo Action lens with a digital correction of distortion at the same time, in that case picture crops even more and shooting angle is become very close close to that which we get with the Pixiro lens, but without digital crop and image distortion. Just look at the frames that we got. There are not only insects, there are also some frames with a focus on the foreground, and in general you have a little more opportunities for self-expression. For example, a river with a very cool foreground flows in the location, and you want to pay attention to this element, you need just twist the lens a little bit, and everything in the background will go into slight defocus, but nevertheless the background still readable. But I really would like to continue praising this lens, but there is one nuance that I can't not tell you. And the fact is that this camera has digital stabilization and it was designed for a specific model of this lens. And when we change the optics, stabilization function will work a little worse. Take a look at some examples. If you bought this camera just because of the HDR mode in which stabilization function doesn't work, if you don't trust a digital stabilization which corrupts the picture, if you use fixed camera mount or camera gimbals, or you want to shoot macro scenes, then this lens will definitely suit you. But if you bought this camera just because of the Rocksteady, then I don't recommend changing the lens. There will always be those who can create various custom firmwares for cameras. If you one of those and you can change the Othma Action digital stabilization settings for our lens, then write to us, please. You are always welcome and we will appreciate your cooperation. Yesterday it rained all day and we get almost nothing, now it's cleaning up in some places. I hope the weather would allow me to get some footage. Well, what could be better than a cup of hot tea with an avocado sandwich, when you sit in such a good place early morning and Osma action with a Pixiro lens filming you? <laughs> Let's now compare the camera angles. We have three options. First one is Osmo Action with Pixiro lens. Second one is Osmo Action with standard fisheye lens. And third one is Osmo Pocket. Unfortunately, before coming here, we didn't manage to get a second Osmo Action camera. We will film these shots on arrival and we'll show you later. Let's compare Osmo Action and Osmo Pocket cameras. Osmo Action and Osmo Pocket, the same frame, we compare the shooting angle. Osmo Action stabilization turning on. Stabilization turning off, HDR mode turning on. I don't know why, but on this shot Osmo Pocket began to twitch and some shots were spoiled. 
Again, two cameras, all settings in auto mode and using sign like D profile. So now it's almost the same, I just set the exposure manually on Osmo action. The same frame on three cameras, let's go. Low light test, ISO 3200, shutter speed 125. I would like to focus on macro and how it differs from ordinary macro on regular camera. The trick is that its wide-angle macro lens and the object in macro mode is in close proximity to the lens. That gives us the effect of presence, for which some people buy special lenses for SLR cameras. It's something that looks like wheels, by which you can get to the subject as close as possible. The dimensions of the action camera allow you to come very close and shoot in almost any confined space. How can I show you a mosquito sitting on my shoulder without a macro? Whoa, he's attacking! We try to put a little gift for each our client. Most often it's such a Pixar pencil that can be used to clean the lens. We understand that most of our customers are bloggers and travelers whose camera constantly flies and falls. In such conditions the lens needs to be cleaned quite often. And we need to consider that the area of the lens is much smaller than SLR cameras have. And if you stain it just a little, that can greatly affect the quality of your shots. For example, fingerprint size on the action camera lens much bigger than the same fingerprint on the SLR camera. Therefore, you can take and clean the lens at any time. There is still a special brush which you can use for removing the dust, so that the camera is always be clean. I still cannot guarantee that after replacing the lens the camera will remain waterproof. We tried to make the lens mount the same as the standard and encourage is also pressed firmly against the inner seal, but if you rotate the focus ring, then a small gap will appear. Theoretically, this camera can be dipped in water if the focus is set to infinity. In micro mode you can't use it underwater. And I can't guarantee you that because you simply can forget to set the focus to infinity and dip it in the water, and then we won't be able to understand who's responsible for that. Either this lens passed the water, or you didn't fully screw the focus ring. Therefore, let's say that this camera cannot be immersed in water after replacing the lens. But still, if you want to dive with it, I would advise you to buy special waterproof case. The dimensions of our lens are exactly the same as the standard lens, and all standard accessories which are made for OSPA action will work. In one of the following videos we will make the lens installation guide. Installation is quite simple. You will need to unscrew four bolts, remove the cover and unscrew the old lens using special key, then put in a screw new Pixar lens. In the next videos we will show you the shots in full 4K resolution, taken after replacing the lens with and without color correction, so you can see everything.